Happy Thanksgiving Eve, everyone. And you know what? Probably just happy Thanksgiving because I'll probably um, put this clip with any other clips that I pull from tomorrow and just upload a video tomorrow. So what is going on? I just realized that my disco balls and my lights, I must have unplugged something. Anyway, flip the camera around and show you what I've done. All right. These arches might look familiar. And it's my wreath. I went ahead and rewired them. There's four channels on each one. Okay, I still got to get my light and my sign lettering done. Got a friend that's going to make that for me. That's going to go right there. Um, I don't know if I showed you this last night, but I moved the Let It Snow sign up to fill in the spot where the uh, where the uh, wreath was. And you can see my snowflakes, my disco ball, and my moving heads are actually powered off right now. Also, have changed the jets. I realized I had a bad valve, and when I put the right valve in, it caused the mini, the little jets, to be too powerful. Um, so I've went ahead and, and raised the pipe up and put the bigger valve, the bigger nozzles on. Um, but with that done, they weren't shooting high enough. So I actually used, as you can see there, I just take the mini, the little ones I had and kinked them off to reduce the pressure so now I only have four jets but it looks a lot better in my opinion so let's go ahead and get this stuff powered back up I must have when I was back here one of the extension cords for those arches I think I might have unplugged my oh 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 oh, 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 oh. tripped on an extension cord let's get this stuff powered all right now I must say I have been known to call people lazy or cheesy to put laser lights on their house because I think it's a an easy way out however these people that do that and do nothing else at least they do that so I can't say anything against that it's kind of catch-22 however I purchased one and I put it on the top of the tower facing downward now we have an airport nearby so I was a little concerned with pointing one up um, so this all the lasers are shooting down it's hard to see well I guess you can see it um, you get the lasers on the front of the, on the roof of the house, on the yard, and the road, and on the neighbor's house, and then the, you know, everywhere out here. Also, there's little twinkles going on in the top of the tree, which is pretty cool. That'll be on from dusk to dawn. So, uh, and I also put a strobe light at the top. I don't know if you can see. It's hard to see even from naked eye, but there's a strobe light on top of the tower, right above that laser light. So, just a, kind of a wash effect. Um, I think there's other applications for these laser lights than just shining on the house. Um, like if you had one, maybe shine it from the ground up into a tree. It looks really cool. I did that one year. Same thing with these little projection things I have in the palm fronts here. It's like really cool effect you're supposed to well, I think they're really designed to be like a splash effect on the house or something but isolating just on the fronds makes it look really pretty in my opinion pretty cool so I think for the most part with the exception of my sign um, I am pretty much done all I got to do is um, continue programming adding a couple more songs I've got to install the uh, FM transmitter which I'll do tomorrow and uh, again, put the sign up that says what FM channel this go through. And then on Monday, I'll be ta trying to tackle the uh, RGB arches that are up here and then the other arch over there and see if I can get those working and programmed. So hopefully, hopefully we can get that working. I'm going to just quickly drive around the block to see what's, what the house looks like from a distance coming up. There's only a few, I mean, I can see it turning through trees and stuff like that uh, on the next block over, but there it is. It's going to go down to the, the other street down here. It's a little bit more of a busier road, probably where you're going to get most of my traffic from. 
Let's see what it looks like from the back side of the house. Alright, turning on to Alcantara now. This is the road that's behind my house. behind this wooded lot. That's why I do the tower. The main reason I pull this, do this tower, so you can see it from a distance to try to pull in more traffic. So, especially on this road, it's going to be noticeable. And it's going to bring in some traffic from this road, definitely. Alright, I believe with the condition that the house is in now, that tomorrow will definitely be our opening day. I'm pulling back into the driveway. I'm pretty much ready to go now, so we should be good. Now I'm running the fog machine tonight just to see what kind of uh, effect it has. I'll be running the fog machine on select nights. It is plugged into a channel on my show, so if for a reason it is on, when the show's off, the fog machine will go off. Um, but easily I can just turn the switch, turn it off right here anytime I want. So when I want it on, I'll just flip it on and it'll be on with the show. And when I want it off, it'll be off. So chances are I'll probably keep that on on nights. I know I'm expecting guests. Um, it does play, it does, you know, add quite a cool effect. Especially with that laser light up on the tower and the disco ball and makes the spotlights look, uh, pop. However, if we have even a slightest breeze, it's just wasted because the wind just picks it up and takes it away. Um, but it almost looks like the house is on fire. But uh, fog machine is definitely going to help with uh, you know popping these these beams, um, which is the ultimate goal. And it looks like the fog. It's going to be hard. Oh, yeah, you can see it. The fog is actually carrying up and over towards the back of the house. So. It's actually cool, it's lighting up that whole laser beam from the tower, so. Uh, the reason I'm only learning on select nights is because, oh, I'm going to test it out because I don't know how long a tank of fog will last. I've got plenty, well, I say plenty, I've probably got about two gallons of fog juice in the, in the garage. So I'll fill it up and I'll run it at night and see how much it uses. So, I'm going to go in and actually do some customizing and building the show a little bit better. This way tomorrow it can be it come on automatically at six o'clock. Um, after ten o'clock, I have actually. Uh, hold on, let me turn the camera around here. After ten o'clock, I've actually got uh, my receiver, my amplifier that powers the speakers outside. I've got it turned off, and what I mean by that is I have the same show programmed twice. One has the power on for the channel that the receiver's on. And the other one is the same exact, but that power that for that channel is off. So I'm going to create a channel uh, show for before 10 and then one again for after 10. Because I do plan on running the show until midnight every night this year. So a little bit longer than I normally do. Mainly to try to attract more people in Monday through Friday through the entire season. But I don't want to be blaring music after 10 o'clock and annoying my neighbors. So... I've got basically two channels, there are two shows, and we're running one that's before 10 and one that's after 10. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that now, getting all that built, and then uh, we'll do, you know, just go from there. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, I just wanted to make a quick clip to close out this video. I just realized that I've got some information or some videos from a couple days ago that um, I wanted to go ahead and upload. Um, I'm not sure if the video makes a whole lot of sense, and um, I'm sorry for that if it doesn't. I was planning on uh, taking more video yesterday on Thanksgiving and then finishing and uploading the video yesterday, but I hope you guys all had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, i uh, not sure, well, the, probably the next video will, will contain, uh, we're going to Universal Studios to see some of their decorations, and Mannheim Steamrollers performing there this weekend. As of, I believe um, that's what I heard. So we're going to go and take in part of that concert. So uh, we've got a pretty exciting weekend coming ahead of us. So um, that'll probably be the next video.
um, I will let you say I'm at, I'm at work now. It's Friday. On the way to work, I actually saw a um, uh, Christmas-related item on the side of uh, the interstate, and I called up my buddy and had him go up and get it. Um, and it turned out to be a thousand foot of look like C9, uh, like a roll, like a spool of cable, and the sockets on it. So. Not every day you see um, something of value, especially when it comes to Christmas sitting on the side of the road. So it was kind of a, a nice find. It's about a two or three hundred dollar spool of wire, and most likely won't use it for the sockets, um, or actually for what it is. But you can cut it any length, and I'll probably be using a lot of it just for uh, custom length uh, extension cords. So that was a pretty good find, and um, me and Tom are going to be splitting that. Uh, they're in the process of trying to untangle it and he sent me some pi pictures of this thing obviously falling out of a truck going 70 miles an hour it got pretty tangled up and stuff so um, anyway that was uh, that was the find so I'll be that's another upcoming clip I'm sure that uh, you guys will see in the next video or the video after I'm not 100% sure so anyway you guys enjoy your uh, hopefully long weekend off you don't have to work um, and you had a great holiday and uh, Plenty more videos to come, so make sure you like and subscribe.